Hi all, today we are going to start the potentiometer topic. So, potentiometer is basically an instrument used to measure the unknown voltage by comparing with a standard known voltage source. Actually, this is nothing but actually a voltage measuring device which will measure the voltage by comparing with some standard known voltage source. So, as you are comparing with the standard voltage source, it is basically a comparison based method and a null detection based method. So, the accuracy does not depend on the accuracy of the instrument because it is basically a null detection method only. Only instrument is used to detect the null position only. Only galvanometer will be used and the accuracy only depends on what is the accuracy of the reference standard voltage source which you are using. And as it is a null detection method, it does not consume any power from the unknown voltage source or the circuit under balanced conditions. So, as it is not taking any power from the source, that means the loading effect on the circuit will be zero. This is the another advantage of null detection based methods. So, the determination of the voltage is independent of the source resistance also. That is another advantage. It does not depends on the or it is not going to affect by the source resistance of the voltage source. So, it can be used for measuring the current also. How you can measure the current? Because it is basically a voltage measuring device. What we will do? We will pass the unknown current through some known standard resistance and measure the voltage drop across the resistance. So, now that voltage drop measured across the resistance divided by value of the standard resistance will give the current. In that way, we can measure it. So, today's class, we are going to discuss about basic DC potentiometer. So, basic structure will be the, like this. So, there is a standard cell. Let us take the standard cell voltage is equal to 1.0186 volts. And this is my unknown value of EMF, which I want to measure. So, for this circuit, basically the circuit will involve this entire structure. So, there will be a battery or a voltage source, DC voltage source, because we are discussing about DC potentiometer. And one rheostat will be used, which I represented by RH. And the negative terminal of this one is connected through a slide wire one terminal through that it is connected to the negative terminal of standard cell as well as the negative terminal of the unknown voltage source directly. So, now there will be a slide wire. This slide wire is basically a big wire or a thick wire which is having the resistance. Let us assume I am taking an example. This slide wire is having a length of 200 centimeters and let us assume this slide wire is having a resistance of 200 ohms. That means it is having a resistance of 1 ohms per centimeter and total resistance will be 200 centimeter. That means 200 ohms is there. So, now by there will be a slide contact. Using the slide contact, we can keep our slide contact anywhere. Accordingly, we can take the tapping and measure the voltage. Let us assume the voltage that is measured. So, let us take for example, this is the unknown value. I am representing by some value E2. So, this is the value E2. So, this is some position 2 or we can tell this as some position C. I can write this as EC. This is the voltage up to this point. That means depending on where you are keeping the tapping, if you are measuring voltage across this, we can get any value of the voltage. So, now this battery circuit, you can see battery circuit is closed through this slide wire. It is connected through your rheostat and returning back. So, your current that is supplied by your battery will be equal to your battery voltage divided by resistance of the rheostat plus resistance of this slide wire. So, continuously that much current will pass. For a fixed value of RH, continuously the current will goes on passing through the circuit. So, that current is represented by the working current. So, in this example, I am to explain you properly, I am taking 10 milliamperes is my working current. What will be the case of other case? I will take one example. There I will explain you further in detail. So, now what happens? The procedure that should be followed is because this slide contact will be connected through the key switch or a key to the galvanometer. This galvanometer will be connected to single pole double throw. Single pole means it is having a single contact double throw. That means it can be kept in any one of the two positions. So, these two positions with this switch can be kept is the upper position is called as the calibrate position. This calibrate position is connected when you connect the standard cell and when you connect the unknown EMF, that position is called as the operate position. That position is called as operate position. So, first one before starting the experiment, first to do the calibration or which is also called as the standardization of the instrument. So, that error will not be introduced due to aging effect of the RH or the 
slide contact resistance. The slide wire resistance or the rheostat that aging or aging of the battery should not affect our measurement. So in order to avoid that before measuring every time the standardization or calibration will be done. So what is standardization? The process of adjusting the working current by adjusting the value of RH so as to match the voltage drop across the portion of the slide wire against a standard reference source is called as standardization. So this is the definition but it is so much confusing. So what is standardization? Let us see in the detailed form with an example. So the procedure will be whenever you want to measure the unknown resistance, first this switch S will be connected to this calibrate position. So further that procedure we call as standardization. Let us see what is standardization. First thing what we will do, keep this slide contact position at 101.86 centimeters. We will keep it at 101.86 centimeter mark on this slide wire. So slide wire it is kept. So now after that, this S is kept in the position, calibrate position. S is kept in the position, calibrate position. That means your standard cell is connected across this one. So if there is a potential difference between these two places or these two values, current will starting through your galvanometer and your standard cell and it will return back. You agree with me? So now, I want to get the null detection of the galvanometer. So for that what we will do, we will adjust the value of the RH such that this galvanometer shows the zero reading. That means the value of RH is adjusted in such a way, galvanometer shows the zero reading. What is the meaning galvanometer is showing the zero reading? Galvanometer showing zero reading means the value of EC is equal to 1.0186 volts. Because we have already fixed this slide contact at 101.86 centimeters that means under balanced condition this 101.86 centimeter correspond to 1.0186 volts agree with me so that means one centimeter on this slide wire that will correspond to because 101.86 centimeter is this much voltage so divide with this one so this will be equal to 0 0.01 volts or nothing but equal to 10 millivolts or otherwise we can calculate the working current will be equal to because for 101.86 centimeters or ohms we are getting a voltage of 1.018 volts because in this example i have taken this 200 centimeters corresponding to 200 ohms or it is having 1 ohms per centimeter so we can tell that the working current in this example is 10 milliamperes. So now you have to maintain this current toward the remaining procedure. That means how you will maintain this current constant throughout the remaining procedure? The rheostat position under balance condition whatever comes, it will be locked there. For the remaining process, that means for measuring the unknown EMF, you have to only vary the slide contact and you should not touch the rheostat for the remaining process. So this is called a standardization. So now once the standardization is done, now we will go to the measurement. So measurement for measurement what we will do, change this position of the switch S to the operate position. Whenever you change the operate position, again galvanometer will show non-zero value. Either it will show positive or negative, depending on what value it is showing because current can pass from this one to this unknown source or from unknown source to this supply or to the slide wire. So depending on the galvanometer reading, you will adjust the slide wire contact. So now adjust the slide wire contact in such a way that it shows the zero reading. Adjust the slide wire contact so that it shows the zero reading. So that is called as a measurement. Let us assume the balance is obtained at some 131.46 centimeters. So we have already done the standardization. Standardization we have seen that because the current that is passing is working current is 10 milliamperes. So total it is getting balanced at 131.46 centimeters. So the unknown voltage will be equal to 131.46 that is a value multiplied by 10 milliamperes because 131.46 is ohms multiplied by 10 milliamperes or otherwise we have calculated what is the voltage per centimeter. What is the voltage per centimeter? It is 10 millivolts per centimeter. As we know 10 millivolts per centimeter, the calibration is obtained at 131 point, sorry, the balance is obtained at 131.46 centimeters. So voltage will be equal to 131.46 centimeter multiplied by 10 millivolts. Even you, using that also, you can calculate. This will be 10 millivolt. So total voltage is 131.46 volts. You understand? So let us take one more example to understand the basic working principle clearly. So example, a basic slide wire potentiometer has a working battery voltage of 3 volts with negligible internal resistance. 
the resistance of the slide wire is 400 ohms and its length is 200 centimeters it is mentioned that 200 centimeters having 400 ohms that means per centimeter it is 2 ohms this slide wire has one mm scale divisions that means the slide wire has made the scale the scale on the slide wire is provided each division is one mm division and it is possible to read up to one by five of a division that means we can measure accurately up to or we can observe clearly up to one by five times of mm that means up to one by five times of mm we can measure accurately or we can keep our slide wire position accurately the instrument is standardized with 1.018 volts standard cell with sliding contact at 101.8 centimeter mark on the scale now calculate the working current the resistance of the series rheostat the measurement range and resolution of the instrument so this came in r2u in 2010 so let us write the given data first so the data that is provided is the battery is having a voltage of 3 volts the slide wire is having 400 ohms and having a length of 200 centimeters and the standard cell is having a voltage of 1.018 volts and the balance is obtained at 101.8 centimeters and we can measure up to 1 by 5 times of mm accurately so now the resistance of the slide wire per centimeter will be equal to per centimeter is it is 400 ohms in 200 centimeters this is 400 by 200 will be 2 ohms per centimeter now the resistance of the slide wire at 101.8 centimeter position will be equal to 101.8 multiplied by 2 that means it will be 203.6 ohms that means when the resistance is equal to 203.6 ohms we are getting a voltage of 1.018 volts so now how to calculate the working current working current will be equal to voltage divided by resistance corresponding to that location because that voltage is 1.018 volts when you keep the length at 203.6 ohms that means for 203.6 ohms this much voltage drop is there or we can tell that the current will be equal to 0 0.005 amperes that is equal to 5 milli ampere so it is nothing but like this there is a resistance through this resistance the current is passing so if you want to measure the voltage let us take for example this voltage v will be equal to i multiplied by resistance let us assume resistance between these two i am representing by rc this will be i multiplied by rc agree with me so this is the reason i have calculated like this or from this i can calculate current i is equal to voltage that means voltage up to this point let us take it as vc vc divided by rc so up to rc that value is 203.6 and vc is 1.018 i think this will be clear to you now so i am proceeding further total resistance of the circuit will be equal to because the total voltage is 3 volts and we know the working current we got as 5 milliamperes so total resistance of the entire circuit is 3 volts divided by 5 milliamperes that means 600 ohms is there out of 600 ohms 400 ohms is my slide wire that means the remaining value is my rheostat voltage resistance so that's why the resistance of the rheostat will be equal to 600 minus 400 that is equal to 200 ohms so second part done so then last one it is asked total measurement range total measurement range will be equal to current multiplied by total resistance which can be varied total resistance that can be varied will be resistance of the slide wire only that means i multiplied by resistance of the slide wire because you are connecting the unknown source across the slide wire we have to take this slide wire resistance so this will be 5 milliampere means 0 0.005 multiplied by 400 you will get it as 2 volts so the last one as a reading can be done up to 1.5 times of mm we know that 200 centimeters correspond to 2 volts so automatically we can tell that 1 by 5 mm correspond to 1 by 5 i have converted mm to centimeter that means 10 to the power of minus 1 multiplied by voltage per centimeter so voltage per centimeter is we know that 2 volts for 200 centimeter voltage per centimeter is equal to 2 divided by 200 so 2 divided by 200 it will be equal to 0 0.2 millivolts that means the resolution of this instrument is equal to 0 0.2 millivolts that is the resolution of the instrument i hope what is the basic working principle of the potentiometer and how to analyze the basic numericals on the basic potentiometer is clear to you but practically the problem comes 
because you can see here the slide wire length we have taken as nearly 200 centimeters because we have provided the linear scale that means the size of the potentiometer will be very big so it is impractical to design a potentiometer of this much big size because the potentiometer whatever is the instrument is there that should be compact size as possible that's why practically we go for a practically the potentiometer will be a little bit different than this one so that we are going to discuss in the next class i hope this concept is clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much